All right, it's not a hurricane, but it's pretty windy and it sort of demonstrates the pliability of palm trees when it comes to dealing with wind. Palm trees are composed of millions of string-like material that holds them all together. And it's extremely strong and extremely flexible. Every little piece of the palm is composed of fine fibers. And they're so strong, even the little, like they're, they're literally as strong as dental floss. Try to pull dental floss apart. Imagine millions and millions and millions of pieces of dental floss all glued together. No way you could bust it. But it would be flexible so that when the big winds come, instead of snapping, they just bend a little bit with the wind. And uh, that's what's happening right now. These are my neighbor's palms right across the street. You can watch these things. The big gusts come. They just sway back and forth and back and forth. And uh, they just move with the wind. They, most palms were adapted in areas that are subject to hurricanes. And as such, after you know millions of years of evolution, they've adapted to these conditions even worse. And if you look at the foliage itself, what's it doing when a big gust of wind comes? It's just like a person standing there in the wind with their hair blowing, like a woman with long hair. Like a big gust of wind wouldn't knock her over, it'd make her hair go crazy because it's so pliable. Okay, it's pliability, that's the key word here. So I often get these messages for, or you know, inquiries or basically freak outs from people who are like, Gary, you gotta come over here. There's this really tall palm tree above my house and it's blowing around in the wind and I swear it's gonna snap and land on my house. And sometimes they even pay me to come over to tell them what I'm telling you now. They pay me a lot, like a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, I think. I would never pay some money, I should tell you that. But I guess, you know, if you need the information, you need it. It's valuable. I guess it's a lot cheaper than having some palm snap on your house. But what I tell them is what I'm telling you right now. These things are hurricane proof. It would take like a 200 mile an hour wind to snap these trees, or at least 150. I don't think an 80 mile an hour wind would do it. Right now we're looking at probably 35 mile an hour gusts. Uh, and you see, it just goes, it just goes with the flow. It's kind of like we all need to be like that. Uh, but you really don't have to worry about palm trees snapping unless you get above 100 mile an hour winds. And especially if the tree is dead. If the tree is dead. Let's take a look at these. Over a little. Anyway, look at there, there are the queen palms. Look at the queen palms go. Beautiful. They're actually really pretty in the wind. Look at these queen palms. Beautiful dancing in the wind. Uh, so you really don't have to worry about these palm trees snapping and falling over and landing on your house uh, during these big winds because uh, of this extreme pliability of the foliage and the structure of the plant sinuous structure of the plant and what else do you need to know uh they also think that like oh it's gonna blow so hard it's just gonna uproot the tree well that's not gonna happen i mean it's gonna cause if anything's gonna happen the, the palm is gonna snap but that hardly ever happens huge hurricane winds need to do that and you also sometimes birds will go up and create cavities in the trunk thereby reducing the structural integrity of the tree I've seen that happen if that happens you get a weak spot and uh, you could you know lose a tree that way I'm not saying it won't happen but I'm saying it will take an extreme circumstance for that to occur and it's something you really shouldn't have to worry about with palm trees uh, better yet you know don't let the tall ones these things they're beautiful in the sky they're beautiful from my yard but from these people's yard they have to like lay down on their patio or their driveway to look up to enjoy their trees. So I'm really happy they have. They're like right in my yard in the sunset. 
But anyway, that's just a little lesson on the pliability and survivability of palms in extreme wind. Today is not extreme, but it's today's fun and vigorous wind. Have a great day.